In this video, I'm going to show you a simple trick to change any color to any color with Photoshop. And this will be done with just few clicks and you are done. So let's jump right in. What's up you guys, my name is Dennis, welcome back to Double T Friday. If learning graphic design and making creative design suits your interest, consider subscribing and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos like this one every week. So let's move on to Photoshop. Now what you need to do is to open up the picture you need to use for this effect. And once your picture opens up just like this, the next thing you want to do is to click on your adjustment layer and click on Hue Saturation. So once you open up this, what you see is your hue, saturation and lightness. And hue is a particular color itself. While your saturation is the value of any color, that is the tone of any color. And your lightness is how light or how dark a color is. So when adjusting this, you know how to adjust it properly. So before then, you need to observe this, that when you hold on your hue, and move to any direction it changes the color of everything but in this process we don't want to change the color of the whole image we want to maintain a particular color for a particular color so let's return everything back to zero okay and that looks fine now what you need to do to change this yellow color in this image okay um let me adjust this this way okay this looks fine and place it this way now we need to change the color this yellow color to any other color and if you want to do this process this is just what you are going to do you click on this hand to where you have to click and you pick a color here when you click here you automatically select the yellow color so you are telling Photoshop that you want to change this particular color then you hold on your hue and move to any direction okay and once you do that, you are able to change it to any color you move to, okay? You are able to change any color you want. So if you observe carefully, you see that shades of these colors are also affecting the background. But I'm going to show you how to do this. And remember, we are doing this non-destructively. So you can still gain back your picture by simply clicking on the eye to, to hide and the eye to, to activate again. So this is done non-destructively. Unlike other photoshop users that will go to image and click on adjustment and click on hue saturation and that's very wrong because when you do this you are doing it destructively okay that is fine so once you are setting with the particular color you need to use and uh, let me leave it at red once you're setting with the particular color you need to use you can adjust the saturation the value of the red you want or how you want it to look like okay i think i'm okay with this and you also adjust your lightness to any direction you want how light or how dark you want the color to look like but i like this particular red and this looks very cool then you hold on this your adjustment bar where you have to adjust you know the more tighter this color is the more perfect the color looks but you can see how the adjustment looks like if i take this down i'm taking it down to where i have the red so you can bring this down to where you have the red and it makes it look very perfect so this looks cool you can also close this up again to get a perfect color there okay and this looks very fine you use this to adjust the colors you can see when i take this down here it changes the color of everything again and if i take this up here it returns everything back so use this to adjust your colors and how you want it to look like so I think I'm going to leave it down here and this looks perfect. So the next thing I want to do is to show you, let me close this up and I'm going to show you how to take off the shades of other colors in this image so it won't affect the whole image. Now remember the rule of Photoshop that the black hides and white reveals, okay? So I'm going to use the black to hide part of this image which I don't want this adjustment to affect other parts of the image. So with that, I'm going to click on your regular brush tool, the brush tool, okay. Then I'm going to reduce the brush size. Either you click here and reduce the brush size here, okay. And that looks fine, but I'm going to leave it here. This looks perfect. Then make sure your foreground is at black, just like this. And make sure you select your layer max thumbnail. So with that, you can paint 
on any area you want to retain the color let me zoom in so you can see the effect done there you can see how this looks like but when i paint on them it retains back the original color just like what you can see here so you carefully paint around the image to take off other colors that are not supposed to be affected by the effect and that is just a very simple technique and once you do that you are able to change the color with few clicks okay i can leave this so it blends with the image now this other color is actually a reflection from the color of the vehicle itself so with that you are able to do this effect i'm going to show you another example with another image let me bring in this image to photoshop and this is actually another pattern of changing the color of any image okay and that looks cool so first thing i'm going to do with this image is to activate my lasso tool i want to make this selection with my lasso tool so i'll simply click on the polygonal lasso tool here and activate that so you zoom in so you can make your selection perfectly i may not be perfect with this selection because i'm actually making this tutorial for another purpose so you can take your time if you like to know how to make selections with lasso tool i'll leave a link on the video down in the description so you learn how to make this selection carefully then with that i'm going to continue my selection i'm going to be faster a bit with this selection okay Alright, so once you're done with your selection, next thing you want to do is to click on your layer marks to add a new layer to that. And you can see how this layer marks works. I've been able to select only the image itself just like that. So once you are done with that, you click on your layer marks and you click on your adjustment layer and click on hue and saturation once again. Let me bring this here. And once you do that, you are able to select so once you do that you don't need to click on any color with this because you are able to select the particular color you want to work with and with that you click on your hue and adjust the hue of any color but you see it's actually affecting the whole image but we don't want this to affect the whole image so for that you have to click on this icon here where you have to select only the layer itself and once you click that you are selecting only the layer if you click again you deactivate it and it selects all the current and below all layers current and below so all we want is the effect to affect only the current layer and not current and below so for that you click on this icon here where you are able to click and it selects only the layer currently and not current and below but if you deactivate it selects the layers current and below and for that i'm going to click again and it's going to select just the layer so with that you can adjust the color of this shape okay this looks fine so with that the color is actually looking fake it's not looking real because all the highlights are hidden so for that i'm going to hold on my saturation and bring down my saturation way down to minus 34 and that looks cool and my lightness bring it down as well and this looks very cool so let's see how this image looks like with this you are able to change this color and make it look like this so guys this technique is just a very simple technique for photoshop beginners because i know professionals can do more better than this it's actually a simple technique for photoshop beginners so if you are starting new on photoshop and you would like to know this trick can you watch and watch again and with that you'll be able to do this trick okay so if you are new here in this channel and you've not subscribed yet i would like you to know that we make tips and tricks videos and graphic design tutorials just like this one so with that you would like to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos like this one every week thank you very much for watching this video i will see you next time